Joe, how are you guys doing? Uncle Stuff here. So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how devs, regardless of age or experience, how you can uh, beat the AI system or the AI age. How can you profit from all this? So I'm going to repeat myself, just in case you couldn't hear me. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can navigate or even beat uh, the uh, AI age as a developer, whether you're a beginner or a super advanced uh, developer, I'll give you some, uh, I got one, two, three, four, five tips that I think will be useful to you. Actually, uh, I'll make that six, six tips, six tips for you guys. So we're going to jump into it. I got my uh, set of notes here. You want to take a quick cheat peek at the notes here, if you can read my uh, chicken scratch. All right, so devs can beat the AI system or the AI-based systems. Or the alternate title was How Devs Can Successfully Navigate the AI Age. Number one, you want to leverage your advantages, right? So if you are a beginner, you're quite young, uh, you're full of youth, you're full of piss and vinegar. So that means what you ought to do is leverage that ability to, you know, you're in shape, you're healthy, you're young, so you have tons of energy, you uh, have years and years ahead of you, so you don't have money, probably, that's okay. I have to tell you something, I 100% can tell you, if I grab a 60, 70, 80 year old millionaire, even billionaire, and I said to them, you have to give up all your money but I will make you 20 again. I will make you 25 again. I will make you 30 again. Some might even do it at 40. I'll make you 40 again. And a lot of people, I tell you, every one of them will say, no problem, take all my money. I'll go back to 20 years old. I'll go back to 30 years old. Some might even do 40s. If you're 80, they'll do 40 for sure. 50, I don't know about that. But anyway, yeah, that's the situation. So you have a lot to contend with as a young person. You definitely have a lot to contend with, a lot of uh, challenges, shall we say. But you also have the power, the power of youth and energy, so in vitality. So you have to play to your strength. So if you're a young person listening to this, your strength is that energy that you, so you gotta hustle, 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 hustle. You have that energy now. Believe me, when you get older, uh, that energy f begins to fade over time. So uh, you want to leverage it now uh, and better to start a business, start freelancing younger than older. If you're learning how to be a developer, just getting into the whole game and you're trying to decide if you get a job, do I need a job first before I do freelance or before I start a company? The answer is you don't need a job first. The answer is you need to just get out there and do it. The biggest mistake people make is they try to do too much prep before actually doing the thing that they want to do. So I first learned this in martial arts. I used to do a lot of combat sports. In fact, I was so into it, I was going to become, I was working to become a professional fighter until I got very sick and almost died, a little thing like that. And uh, so I had to change course. Anyway, uh, what I learned in the martial art days, in the combat days, is that if you're hitting the heavy bag, you're hitting the pads, you're doing drills, you're doing kata or forms, it's not fighting. It's, you can do all the kata and the heavy bag training and all the pad work you want in the world, but you're not, it's not fighting. It's not a substitute for fighting. And you don't want to be caught in tutorial hell or prep hell where you're just continuously trying to... Uh, Trying to, trying to refine your skill set before getting into the ring. You got to get in the ring. Mm. So you have to get into the development ring. You got to start building things. So yes, if you want to start a business eventually, you want to be freelancer eventually, do it young. When you're young, you have the ability to make mistakes. You have time to recover. If you're 25 and broke, who cares? If you're 30 and broke, who cares? If you're 35 and broke, yeah, okay, you got to start working on it. But you still got plenty of time, right? You still got plenty of time. Another thing you got to you got to consider when you're a young person, 
you know, if you're under 25, under 26, you have to understand you're not playing with a full deck of cards. You're not playing with a full deck of cards. All right, we're taking it to the next level in today's uh, video, the next level. So um, that's your brain. <laughs> oh yeah, after many years, I finally got a new iPhone. I got the orange one because uh, I want to stand out. I want a peacock. Already got stopped by people. Oh my God, you got the new iPhone, which is amazing. You know, you, you figure that that time has passed, but apparently not. This here, my friends, represents your brain. This is you. This is me. This is everybody. So when you're born, you're born with you know nothing in there, right? So each of these. Each of these marbles represents uh, brain cells, brain matter, mental capacity. So when you start out, you don't have too many marbles in there. There's an old expression uh, from the 70s you said, you said, when they would talk about somebody who was crazy or not mentally all there. They would say he's, he's not playing, he doesn't have all his marbles. That's why I'm using the marbles. Or I used to say you're not playing with a full deck of cards. I've got a deck of cards too. Unbelievable video production and prep. Can you imagine? Hmm. So you're a, a teenager or maybe a 20-year-old whippersnapper or a 22-year-old. So like you're a kid, you're born like this. Over the years, more and more marbles accumulate. Your cognitive capacity slowly increases as you get older. Yeah, it's like you're, you're six years old. And we get, you know, time, experience, taste new food. This is Ruby right here. Anyway, so, I don't know, you're like a teenager, you're, you're here, right? It's not, you're not fully developed. You're not playing with all your marbles, right? Why do I mention all this? Because... If you're under 26, under 25, give or take, you know, everybody's a little different. Um, when you're those ages, when you're not, when you're under 25, 26, understand that you're not playing with your entire cognitive capacity. You're not fully developed yet. This is not an insult. This is actually something to look forward to. Understand that your perceptions of reality are limited. Right, you got one eye seeing things at best, and as such, you're evaluating your environment with not a full and a fully accurate assessment of what's going on. You may think it is because you're limited at this time. You know, you don't have all your marbles. You don't have all your marbles. So, can you even hear that? There we go. Anyway, so. This is a good thing, because that means that there's a lot, a lot of opportunity. There will be. You will improve. So if you're 20 years old, you're going to cognitively improve quite a bit over time, especially if you train your brain. I'll get into that in a second. Yeah, so you gotta, you got to keep building up skills, you know. This represents watching my videos. This, this last batch here, just watch my videos. That will get you there. But you just got to keep building up until you got all your marbles and your brain is fully developed, right? This is the ruby. We want to take out that one. But other than that, we're cool. So this is your brain, fully cognitive. So now at this stage, they're able to perceive reality far more accurately than you could when you had half your marbles in there. So if you're watching me, you're 20 years old, 15 years old, 24 years old, you're not fully developed, especially if you're 20. Again, so don't make any rash decisions. That's why people get themselves into trouble, get themselves into jail when they're teenagers to, you know, late 20s. Why? Because their brains are not fully developed. They don't recognize what's going on here. See, the phone is dominant. The phone is dominant. If the phone rings, that's it. All other things are secondary. Anyway, so yeah, 
understand that you're not fully developed psychologically, mentally, emotionally, certainly intellectually when you are uh, under 25, under 26. There's still development after that. So again, play to your strengths when you're young, not to your weaknesses. Uh, so I'm going to give you a game plan. I'm going to give you a light version of the game plan in this video, what to do when you're younger. And then I'm going to cover uh, it right afterwards what to do as you're older and more experienced. Let me get all this stuff out of the way here. When you're young, you're full of energy, but your brain is not fully developed. So what you should be working on is molding your brain so that your habits, your visceral habits, your unconscious habits are beneficial towards your long-term long goals. Remember, you got two brains, right? You have your lizard brain, which dominates your daily life. It's, it's the thing, the feeling, you, the, the anxieties, the emotions, that's all lizard brain. Lizard brain cannot be directly controlled for very long. Willpower does not work in the long term. And then you got your cognitive brain, your thinking brain. This brain is your intellectual brain, your thinking brain. This brain you directly control. This is who you are. You're watching me now. You're thinking with your, with your cognitive brain, or Kahneman would call it. Kahneman is a very famous guy, won the Nobel Prize for figuring all this stuff out. He called that system two. System one is your primitive brain. Now, here's the thing. System two controls everything. So there are ways you can manipulate, control, reprogram your system one brain, your visceral brain, your lizard brain, your emotional self, so that you develop habits that are good for you, that pull you in a direction where you ultimately want to go. And uh, that's why I put out that course, Lizard Wizard. That's why it's included in my mentoring program. That's why it's so important. Even in my Fitness Over 50 program, I include the Lizard Wizard training because it's all about habit in the end. You want to become wealthy. You want to become healthy. You want to pick up. You want to uh, become a great coder. You want to navigate the AI age. It's all about transforming your emotional self, your visceral self, so that your emotions and your feelings and your impulses are beneficial to, to your goals. Like, for example, how many people we know smoke or eat too much, even though we know, we know intellectually it's not good. You eat too much, you get fat, or you're going to get cancer and diabetes, you get a heart, but people still eat, right? So intellectually, you know this is not good for you, but a lot of people still do it. If you just got your body fat percentage as a man down into the teens, especially if you get around 15, 16%, you're going to pick up so much more. Like you're going to be so much more attractive to the opposite sex, but why don't you do it? Because your lizard brain dominates, not your intellectual brain. So one of the things you got to do as a younger person is you have to start training your visceral lizard brain towards, uh, so that your habits, your impulses pull you in the right direction. Anyway, I've gone over this ad nauseum, many other videos, you can look that up. But uh, yeah, so you leverage, your strength as a young person is your youth, your vitality, the fact that your brain is not fully developed. So you can work your brain by learning to code. Even in the AI age, coding is still relevant. It's just changing in terms of its fo the focus. So you can still learn to code and um, then learn to use AI systems as well. Understand the AI age. Um, and then use the, uh, your huge advantage, again, energy, youth, um, no responsibilities, really, um, and time. Time is the biggest one. Time is the thing you can't get back. Time is the most valuable thing we have uh, in this life. So, yeah, you can leverage that. And so hustle, hustle, hustle. But you got to be cognizant of... of uh, where you are. What you lack, though, is experience, fully developed mind, fully developed emotional self. That's the problem. <laughs>